I want to thank Root Fire and Reed and the whole team for putting this together. Um, yeah, it was a lot of work. That was very thoughtful and yeah, very well thought out. The, the work to go that goes into making these, I'm a fan of them. I mean, I'm, it's kind of the same thing with uh, Devin Morrison's been doing with uh, Roger Rivas. So, although it's just like a simple little show. For the viewer, like the amount of work that goes into these is crazy. So, big ups, you guys. Background music is buzzing a little. Let me turn that down. Can you guys hear who that is? If you guys don't know, that's our boy, Nick Sasakis. Go check out his CD Foundation. Much love music is a little loud. Maybe just slow it down so you don't have to fight over this. Yes. Music is loud. Yeah, Nick likes his kick up there. <laughs> Outer Space is a dope song. 10 out of 10. Thank you, guys. How's the recording project coming? Um, my my own personal one that I'm like producing is it's, it's getting there. I'm I'm in the mixing journey. So normally, as a musician, I've never really dove into the compressors and the mixing world just because that really wrecks your brain. And like, I mean, that's why some people go to school for it. And, you know, big up all the engineers that, you know, put in the time to learn about sound because it's definitely a, a journey. So I'm, I'm taking my time and learning as much as I can. And, yeah. Someone's excited. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's up, Isaiah Churchill? Much love, brother. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys have any questions that you guys just want to like ask us or can you get my vinyl signed by your porch? Yeah, big up you guys. Where do you where are you at? Tafari? Is it in Colorado maybe? Oh, it's Melissa's son. What's up, Isaiah? Isaiah! Braden Waiters. Oh, speaking of him. Hold on. Let me put this man's music on. So, Braden. So you want to tell him who Braden Waiters is? Braden. Hold on. Braden Lee Waiters. Braden Lee Waiters. The man, the myth, the legend. The blues man. The blues man. He's personal friends with Ron Jeremy. Oh. And he's the best tech all around. One of the best dudes we know. But he just came out with a a really great song. We're gonna play it right now. Yeah, um, I want to say thank you guys to the people that donated. Um, it's a pretty cool thing that you know there's people out there supporting this whole movement, and uh, yeah, I mean, just super appreciative of all the support that you know you guys put into everything. Oh, what? I forgot Roddy was in trouble. Oh, 
Nothing happens, man. It's all love. Wow. It's 2020. Can you drop a tiny hint about what y'all were doing at Imperial Challenge? Oh, we were barbecuing. We are having an ITAL barbecue. We made skewers. Yeah, we had some, like... Ian's got a great garden. His, gr- his grilling skills are amazing. Yeah. Have you thought about coming out to Detroit and Harvard, Michigan? Yeah, when the time is right. Michigan's usually really fun. We've been there when it's super cold. I don't think we've ever been there when it's not cold, actually. So. <laughs> How has the pandemic affected the band? Negatively or more time to reflect? I wouldn't say negatively so much, besides the fact we haven't really gotten to meet up or play shows, but I think like there's a lot of music flowing and lots of time to reflect too. And like for me personally, it's like been really great to reflect back and like just see how much love's out there, and just see how much it's coming back and forth, and it's just really inspiring to like keep pushing and create something even better. Hear that? See how much goodness has already been, been put out there, and so much more to so much more love. Yeah, yeah. It, it took. Uh, I mean, it took this pandemic for us to kind of like settle down at home and write music, which is we try to do as much as we can on the road. But there's nothing like just being at home in your studio, putting everything that you're either feeling or going through or inspired by, and like have the peace of mind to be able to dedicate to that you know so that's something that i'm super grateful for this time that we actually get to have yo ron and kelly ron with the donation yo i again thank thank you guys guys. um there's a link in the description i believe so if you guys at all you know thank you guys for supporting the arts um do you want to come to holland that would be pretty cool i think he's been to holland holland i think i i've been there yeah. I only stopped through. Is it? Well, just answer the end of it. I'd love to go to Holland. That was a good question, though, the pandemic, because I feel like a lot of bands are going through kind of similar, or any artist, really. I mean, our job is to go out there and perform and, you know, create a, a moment for people, and that's on hold. So I feel for the arts. Is outer space about hopefully soon transcending spirituality or being taken from the place by our ancestry aliens? I'll let Forge save this one. I outer space. <laughs> I mean, that's really. I mean, lyrically, that's really a question for Nate. What I do mean, you make of it, though? What do you What do you make of it as the listener? Like it's it's maybe coming to terms with. I think for. I don't really know. Maybe just generally uh, coming to terms with kind of a end of the world kind of situation and just a reminder to, to like live in the moment live every day like it's your last but you know, I don't know what, what's your take on it here do you want to find the your yeah. um yeah I, I think it's a very introspective song um I forget who said it that sometimes you know human beings are so uh bent up on like going to outer space because it's so unknown, but then I really wish I remember where I heard this from, but after them saying that, they said that sometimes it's even scarier to go within yourself and really kind of like see what's, you know, what's really down there. And uh, so, yeah, you can take it as a maybe literal message of going to outer space or finding the universe inside of exactly, you. Exactly, which can be sometimes even scary because it's like inside of us. So yeah. Yeah, people need to do their shadow work. So Accepting really it all is is like teeth. part of the so important. Yeah, some people I mean, you know, I think it's a personal journey too to like be able to go inside yourself and know what's like there needs to be worked on, you know. I feel like everyone's got something to do within themselves, but I mean, hey, let's see any other questions. Big shout out from the Philippines. So, when you uh, pick up your teeth, 
You have accomplished so much as a band. What do you wish to achieve as a band in the future? Um, I don't know. Travel I mean, more places for sure. Go travel like, more, more music. Um, I want to craft my skill or sharpen my skills in the engineering world as well as the musician world, you know. You can't ever stop learning yeah, just, with this. You gotta so, keep learning. Basically, it's like a full-on life contract if you're going to do this. Um, dude, when's your next tour date? Oh, man. Wish we knew. Where did you shoot the Rainbow Road music video? Right outside the house, actually. Right, right, up, right. <laughs> up the road. Jose. Oh, Jose. Real question is, what's up with that popcorn machine in the back player? It How works. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what's good, Hoser? We miss you, Hoser. man. Hoser. Brody, what DAW are you using? Shoot, man. Well, maybe if you took a backstage music lesson with me and not just the rest of my band, maybe I'd give you, like, a, a pointer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. I use Logic Pro 10. Yo, I want to big up Brody because this man is so dedicated at learning what it is that we do at our own level. He's taken a lesson from everyone in my band multiple times as well as like, yeah, so Brody, I just want to big you up <laughs> and good luck on your journey, man. It's a long, it's, you know, it's a long one, but you know, if your heart's in the right place, you'll love every minute of it. Lou, you got me into that hip hop beat live stream. I play it every day. Thanks for playing it while you're, oh, word, big up. That's one of my favorite radio station channels. Thank you, Melanie. I want to virtual smoke with you fuckers. Let's do a dab together. I don't dab, but I got a spliff somewhere. What would it take to get you guys to come to do a backyard jam in NorCal? Oof. I don't know. Honestly, I barely leave my house. The other day I left my house, and then I tried to come back, and the whole mountain was on fire. <laughs> Because people were throwing fireworks, and out here it's pretty dry, so it's yeah. probably on the news if you guys saw it. There was a big fire. So I, I just don't leave my house right now. How did the session go with Ian Young? Any new music coming out soon? Hmm. I'm not sure if there will be any new music coming out soon. We, we, did, we recorded some songs there. We still got some more to do. But it's really great, though. Ian's, Ian's the man. Yep. He's collected culture really in the house. It's a dry it's heat. A dry heat. <laughs> it is a dry heat, Dave. Big up, DG. DG, I miss you. Let's see. Oh, I forgot. Can you talk a little about the history of the band? How did you all meet? Let me see. Well, I feel like we've told that story a lot. Um, but I mean, for people just tuning in, you know, me and Nathan grew up together in Vegas. He moved out here to California, met Nick through Craigslist. Yeah, then they got a drummer. We got a drummer. Luke moved out, and then Caucus moved out from Salt Lake shortly after that. Been kind of putting pieces together along the way, yeah. and then Tanner came out from Bakersfield and. I don't know. It's some vortex just sucking us all in. Yeah. It's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. Y'all should come. Oh, wait. I do want to plug something, though, real quick, since I have people here. So we have this uh, Support Our Crew um, t-shirt that we sell on our store. And all the proceeds from that t-shirt go to our sound man, our tour manager, our tech. Yeah. Um, times are hard right now, so that shirt is just, like, it's a cool way to kind of, you know, get – help support, you know, people okay. that help support us yeah. and put the show together for you guys. Because if we didn't have these guys helping us, it'd be almost impossible to do what we do. So if you guys, yeah, support our crew t-shirt on iatera.com. Um, Dave the Bowler. 
Peter Fuller in the house. Big ups. He's the guy that sends all your guys' stuff in the mail. Get more three X's. I'm going to Aw. We will. We, we're, yeah, we're prioritizing that. Yeah. What's the band name I tear mean? How did it come up to be the band name? Name I tear means higher ground or higher earth or something. Yeah. And Nate, I think Nate came up with that. That's more of a story you'd have to ask Nate, but I know. Came up with it one day. And he just knew. Yeah. He knew. It's a good name. I like it. Angie. Hi, Angie. Good to hear from you. We miss you guys. Hope Chief and the dogs are all well. Angie. Favorite non reggae music. Wait, what is this playing? <laughs> this is some Balkan bump, dude. I don't know. Oh, it's Beats and Oh my god, that was crazy. Hold on one second. That came after I saw that. Too. Let me. All right, well, I'll play. Let's see. Play him. Uh... I'm going to do this one. Uh, or what were you going to She do? said non reggae music. Oh, non reggae music? Play a. Uh... Te lo de. Oh, I got you. J Balvin. Yo, so I've been on a reggae thumb cake lately. And so it's not reggae, but my okay, favorite non reggae music. I mean, there's so much. We were watching a 30 Seconds to Mars documentary yesterday. So, like, you know, we like rock and roll too, heavy metal, death metal, Dumb. Jana. House. Jana Petty. Art style. Thank you. Metal. House. Deep House. Deep House. New songs from you guys. Sound Jana. Amazing. Thank you, Jana. Ever played a festival at Nelson Ledges? I don't believe we have. Black Sabbath. Oh, yeah. Does anyone else get a Pink Floyd vibe from the new song? Nathan actually showed me Pink Floyd. Like, to be honest, that is a deep love we all share, I think, is like he, I think all of us. We used to live together back in the day, and he's the first one that showed me live at Pompeii. And then after that, I was, yep. Also, some youth sizes would be dope. My little ones absolutely love you guys and been trying to get me to find some Aya shirts. Yeah. Kids shirts. Kids shirts. I mean, that's always kind of hard because it's like kids are different sizes. I don't know how many you need to get one shirt or do you need to get three different kid size shirts. I don't know. I, yeah. kids we'll, we'll figure so it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And then it's a whole other thing. Yeah. I know Nathan doesn't do many covers, but that Pink Floyd cover live was sick. Yeah, that was that was a fun one. Jimmy Wooten, you guys are my new heroes. Oh man, we're just like you guys. We just do what we do. Do you feel it is more hard to take the higher ground with everything going on right now? Oh, she has a deep question. Um. What is the higher ground with everything going on right now? Sometimes the higher ground means you're going to lose friends and cause discussions that are uncomfortable. So I guess it all depends what the higher ground means to the person, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that one. I just honestly something that I've just stuck with with myself is just like I just mind my own business I cause I don't cause harm on the people um, I don't know I, I've always yeah you gotta just choose love and sometimes it's like love for yourself and then you gotta kind of just learn to understand you know, sometimes and just do yourself and you no know, I don't know. You just gotta choose love <laughs> at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from Mexico. Your music is great. Yo, a toda mi gente de México. Los aprecio. Muchas gracias. Fuck yeah, don't follow the leader. Yeah, man. Because, I mean, there's so much stuff to be afraid of out there that you lose it. And how, do, how do you feel about the Black Lives Matter movement? 
I mean, that's a very broad question. I support black people not getting beaten to death in the street, if that's what the question is looking for as an answer. Um, yeah, I support it as that. And like, I love that awareness is being shined on things. And yeah, because everybody's that, got their own place in it, you know? Yeah, there, it's, it's definitely causing some history changing type things that, you know, have needed to be said or have been put off. Yeah. Hold on one second. Put this song here. Yeah, I think overall it's just, however you want to take it, it's just calling for people to come to a higher level of empathy and just consider somebody else's situation because it's really easy to just like point the finger or say something like from your own point of view, but it's like st taking that step back and being like the observer okay, and maybe take somebody else's situation and just, you know, consider that you might not know everything and you have something to learn from somebody and sometimes your place is listening. Like I felt that has been my duty in a lot of ways and also to spread what I've learned or some things and had conversations with people. But overall, yeah, just more compassion and more love and more understanding, really. That's what we need. I think every bad bad thing or whatever you want to call it, if there's bad or good, really comes, comes from lack of understanding. So if we have more compassion and just learn to listen. Yeah. That was a good question, though. Yeah, it was good. I discovered you guys at the beginning of the pandemic, and I've been a major fan ever since. Your band has helped me keep me grounded in my life. Well, we appreciate new fans. This is cool that, you know, we're getting some new fans, even while we haven't been playing shows. So appreciate everyone listening and, you know, playing the music. I've been to show me and my wife out yell at for feeding the enemy just because we were pissing. Some people be like, oh, what? Oh, oh. oh man. Yes, me say nothing. Music speaks for itself. Favorite Cali reggae band? <laughs> Katie! <laughs> Are truly your new thing? My mom. My mom really likes them. And I don't know. They're cool. I dig them. I like them. You have a lighter? Do you like your? Like, what's your favorite one? I, they're traditional lemonades, honestly, like my jam. But I don't really drink them that much. It's just every once in a while. Let's see what's up with the touristic figure? True, man. What's up with touring in general? Yeah. I don't think there's gonna be. I mean, you know, there's like I see drive-in shows kind of becoming a thing. I like the idea of it. I don't know. It's a, it's all a new thing, you know. Yeah, so. sure, it would be cool. But I, I the tour is still gonna happen for sure. It's just a matter of when, and I think no one really knows exactly when that's gonna be. But just stay positive, and it'll be here before we know it. Hi from Utah. What you doing on weekends, man? What are what are we doing this weekend? I think we have rehearsal coming up next couple days. Nick's birthday is on Friday, I think. Nick's right? birthday, yeah. Nick's the fact is his birthday is on Friday, birthday. so make sure to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday to Juan! It's Juan's birthday. Oh yeah, yeah tour manager today. Big up Juan. He's going through a lot, so if you guys know him, you know, send him all your love. Today's his birthday. Hold on. Thanks together as one. How do you pa how do you pass the time to stay motivated other than working on music? Exercise, Exercise. cooking, um, new ventures. Me and him started this clothing company called Aspect Apparel. Yeah, that's so that's something. Gardening, um, gardening, gardening is really nice. And uh, trying to get outside, see new places, and just be in nature a bit more. Um, Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Sons of Anarchy is pretty. What's another good one? 
I just started P90X. That's got me pretty. I mean, I feel so good though. Like it gets, it's tough at first, but you start to feel really good from it. Is Nathan on some vegan diet? He got skinny. See, here's the thing. Nathan's been vegan for a while. He just kind of chose to eat like maybe the not so healthiest vegan food. So he got really on his exercising and really like on eating well. So I support him on his journey. Pedro, favorite song from Nixifakis' brand new album, Foundation. Whoo, man. man. They're all scorchers, dude. Yeah. I like, what's the one, his falsetto one, Loving You? Keep on loving you. Yeah, that one, that one. Sure. What's the one with uh, Elliot? Touches the Soul. Oh, he's got, yeah, see, like, yeah. The one with Elliot is my favorite one, or, or Young Dead, maybe. Yeah, for those that don't know, Nixifakis, he's our other guitarist. And he put out a new album. Go check it out. It's fucking great. Word on the street is he got someone to help him with eating healthier. Wishing him luck on finding that good balance. Hell yeah. Thanks. Hi from Compton. Love your music. Big up. Stay strong and avoid COVID. I heard it can be deadly. We need you guys alive and well to make it to Jersey. We'll wait five years or more at most. Hopefully it's not that long. What's up with the tour? Oh yeah. We are uh, that's too bad. What's up my dudes? From Kurt in Chicago. Saw you guys with Iration. It was my last concert I went to before COVID. Big up Chicago. What is your next fight for animal rights, Vinny? Uh, I hope to want to open a dog rescue one day, a wiener dog rescue. That would be really, really awesome. I love wiener dogs. I like horses, but I'm in no way trained for horses, so maybe like later, later, later. You guys playing Red Rock soon? I wish. Melissa, hope all is well. Miss you guys. Say hi to Zoe for Miss me. Miss you too, Melissa. How did you guys meet Tanner? We met Tanner because he used to play with a bunch of bands. A bunch of bands, yeah, like every band in Bakersfield. We we played we had played a lot of shows with him prior to him joining us, and we just knew that you know he was a killer drummer. Kind of just a shot out there, and yeah, all worked out. Where is the rest of the band? No one's asked that. So, <laughs> all right, well, that's cool. They're um, at, at homes. At their homes. Yeah, quarantining. And me and me and Nick lived together, so we were able to just kind of put this together. And... Hi, Zoe. But the guys, I'm sure, wish they could be here. Zoe says hello. Aw. Bakersfield legend, straight up. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions or, um, again, I want to say thank you guys to everyone that made a donation. The link's in the description if and any of you guys want to, you know, have one, anything to donate. Um, yeah. Let's see. Where do you play in Southern Illinois? Didn't we play in Sage? Was that a thing? Or that wasn't in Southern Illinois. I'm not I don't remember on my Illinois geography. I know we played Chicago. I'm pretty sure. How do I get my hand on those Tanner drumsticks? Oh, man. Everyone wants those Tanner drumsticks. He's going to do some more. He was really excited about how it went. Gary, hey, what's good? Appreciate you from Pennsylvania. Big up, Gary. Do you guys all live together now, or did you at one point? Um, well, I've kind of basically have lived with everyone. <laughs> I've lived with Nick Sapakis at one point. I've lived with Nathan at one point. I live. I mean, I live with him now. I've kind of been floating. Do you guys always? Uh... What's your favorite meal you've been cooking in quarantine? 
Vaughn and Kelly. Ooh. I like Chilaquiles. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up, or maybe I'll leak the recipe somehow. You should do a video on that, Chilaquiles with Lou. I really like jackfruit tacos. Probably been my favorite. Or like just fried rice with veggies. Sometimes I wonder how many bands pull off their drugs after their show. Oh man, I pulled mine off actually. No, I'm just kidding. I have them right here. <laughs> Where do you live now? We live in Acton. It's about an hour north of the of downtown LA, up in the desert. Mountain. What's your favorite song to play live? What's um, yours, Lou? I mean, it, it depends on the mood, like for a slow song or like a fast song. Like one of my just fun songs for me to play is Marching On because the groove, it's got a nice rhythm. So that one's pretty fun for me. I like Marching On or um, Hold the Vibes is really fun. Yeah. Or. I mean, by my side is really fun too. I always feel really good playing that. It really depends, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Sugar Shack Visual EP that they put together. Um, yeah, I wish, you know, things were open and we could just be out and about, like, playing music for you guys and because I'm, I'm yeah I'm a little excited about the stuff that we were barbecuing the other day at Ian's so just want to get out there and just show you guys what we've been cooking favorite thing you're growing in the garden hmm. right now I would have to honestly say my lettuces just because they're like doing so well. I've never had really good success with lettuce, but I did a more heat resistant strain of lettuce. Like, so, um, most lettuces will not, not go well into the summer. If it gets too hot, they will just go to seed, but like butterhead lettuces, especially are heat resistant. So like, it's just going crazy, all of them. And I've never even had remote success with them. And it's just been great. So yeah, it's been really fun. Best show memory to date. But headliners. Yes. Um Best Show Memory to date. Oh man, there's so many. Yeah, Kale does really good in the summer too and Char. Those are really good. Kale. What would you say to someone who is talented but on the fence about starting a band? Um, just find some people and just like have fun like have a lot of fun and just see what you can come up with and I think if you're like with the right group of people you'll know like but just have fun because yeah yeah you gotta do it because it's fun and you're enjoying what you're doing because I mean if you don't you're not gonna have a good time <laughs> yeah. and like it's important to just like be, just be friends. Like, yeah, you know, it's really nice when you just like can take it with everybody, mm -hmm. and just have a conversation. But if the finding of the bandmates is the hard part, I would say, and you say you want to continue just doing music, like there should be nothing just stopping you from progressing in your own journey. Like, you can literally do everything yourself. Now, if, if you take the time to learn, you know, like your instrument, what it takes to compose and what it takes to, if you want to like lay down a demo for yourself or be able to go to a studio and get recorded, you know, being prepared to know, you know, the different aspects of like producing a record or a song. So. Everybody should grow microgreens. Actually, that was one of Ian's biggest tips. He said, everybody should grow microgreens because they grow in a week. You can use alternate every other week, every other week. 
Is Nathan making a metal album? I I think he should, but I mean, if, if he wants to, he Nate honestly could make an album of any kind of music, and he'd probably be fine. Like, Forge, where can I find some of your bass tracks or stuff you've made? Oh, let's play that. Do you have another one on YouTube? Yeah, you can play the bass, uh, bass line song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I have a few songs out on Spotify and YouTube. I have like three songs out. It's kind of eclectic. It's all to the electronic music, but this is a tune I did with my uh, buddy uh, Moon Splatter, one of my uh, mentors and senseis. Oh, yeah. Jack. Yeah. It's a uh, search on YouTube, Forge. Are you ready for the bass line? This is a jam. Like live, this is the kind of music you got to go experience it at a show because. Yeah, it's like a sound system. At these shows, they have like these huge sound systems, and like you've never felt music like this. It's crazy. Big ups, Jack. Yeah. Yeah, big ups. Go Moon check Splatter. out Moon Splatter. Moon Splatter. Oh, snap. Collective culture. Derp. Oh, God. I'm feeling it. I love New Mexico. New Mexico is one of the most alien-friendly places I've ever met. If there was going to be an alien landing, I think it would probably be in New Mexico. Or Mount Shasta. Or Mount Shasta. I'm wearing your shirt right now for you. Thanks. Are you selling those? To, what's the, how, do you, how do people get those? Is there a, I don't have them up on, on mine. I just have them DM friendly. Oh, if you like a super like exclusive, a they're super exclusive through DMs. So, why did it take so long to release stars from Sugar Shack? I don't know. Maybe like element of surprise, or I don't know. Who they knows? have a lot of releases going on too. You know, they have to like do so much for so many artists, man. I big up Sugar Shack again. Like they're they're one of the the biggest best. I don't know, groups out there doing what they do. Brantley from Oregon. What's up? Met you all a couple times. Miss Oregon. Hope to be back soon. That beat has a little look vibe to it. <laughs> it's definitely a look friendly, look friendly beat for sure. Big up all the looks out there. And the borderline music. Uh, Are you paying rent with music? Uh, you, you could say that, yeah, I mean, we're blessed to, like, we have a little bit enough to get by, um, give thanks for that every day. Is the least, yeah, no. He's just being, he said. But yeah, let's see. Give thanks, everybody. I hope everyone's washing their hands out there. Yeah. Did you wash your hands? This is Louise shitting. I know. I, was I like, had a pee. You know? You're like, pee. So, yeah, like I was saying, I hope everyone's out there washing their hands and being thoughtful to not maybe gather around so many people to help stop preventing this virus thing that's not allowing people to play shows because yeah we yeah, miss we playing shows, play shows. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what other tune do we got um i'll play you guys one of my tunes so i've been producing this ep for bobby hustle be the people <laughs> 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 Do you all have side jobs? Well, speaking of side jobs, this song's called, called Side Hustle. And yeah, it's Bobby Hustle. And it's something that I've kind of been working on this quarantine. It's like my first 
producing endeavor. And yeah, I'm pretty pumped on it. I've been, you know, doing my homework on what it takes to, you know, engineer a good product. And yeah, I'm stoked for you guys to hear it. Go check out Bobby Hustle Music too. You know, he's dope. A collab with Tribal Seeds, my hometown band. Shoot, man. That'd be awesome. Maybe in a, in a dream world or something. Who knows? No, we love Tribal Seeds. Up close and personal, lots of playing time with Coco. I have tickets for Reggae Rise Up in Vegas. I'm an ethical vegan thing for you. We appreciate you. When we getting that Jacob Hemphill? Man, that'd be dope. Jacob Hemphill? I think when the time's right, Jacob's like a super mystical kind of writer. And when the stars align. Yeah, the stars really do have to be aligned. You can't force someone to be inspired to write something that's meaningful. Like, you really just, yeah. As cool as it would be to be like, yo, I'm down. But, like, in order for it to mean something, you know, it's, it's got to, sometimes I think it's just divine timing and magic. Yeah, I think you know after the fact. Wow. Yeah. What about Josh Heinrich? That would be dope. That'd be dope. Love Josh. Hey, Lori. Hi, Lori. Did you all have side jobs when you're coming up? I worked at this moving company. Yeah, plumbing. Plumbing. My dad's a plumber. Oh. Um, I used to work at the Ram store. Bacchus, Nate, and Nick all worked at the movies, actually. Rock and roll movers. Rock and roll movers. Oh man, that was a tough job. <laughs> You're getting me through this with my 14 year old club. She's vegan too. Aw, good thing. Yeah, I like plumbing more than the moving job, I'll say that. And, not, and plumbing's no easy walk in the park either, but it's a more meaningful trade. Not that no trade not meaningful but plumbing is like something that I've learned to appreciate like the value of what it actually means to know what it takes to run your water because it's kind of important right like, everybody needs water <laughs> man are you guys roommates you could say that we're not exclusive roommates <laughs> Terrence McKenna or Timothy Oh, Larry. man. Dang. Um, oh, mean, snap. Oh, snap. For me, I mean, I, I go more into Terrence McKenna, but they're both so good. Um, uh, for me, Terrence, I don't know. What about you, Luke? I don't know. Who's Timothy Leary? I feel like I've listened to him before, but I'm not sure. Yeah. You want to look it up? Yeah. That's Terrence McKenna, though. Ooh, there's a Joe Rogan on it. I don't know. Should we play something or what? I'm pretty sure he's the guy that synthesized the, uh, you know. Oh, the Let me see here. <laughs> The dealer gives you a trading offer. Will you take it? Feels like you're got a Aya uh, demo version. version. Maybe that music comes on. Wait, is that a Come on, who gave the thumbs down? Oh, we got a and thumbs down. For seven days. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Leary was on Cheech and Chong. He has the key to the universe. I'll have to look up more into Timothy Leary. I really don't know much about him. Come on, who gave the thumbs down? Thank you for helping get me out more. What do you do in your free time? Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I have a, I'm very disciplined with how I like personally dedicate my time throughout my day, especially with this quarantine. Um, I've kind of had to put myself on a schedule, not when in the time where there is essentially no schedule. So I've dedicated my time to like exercising, working on music, learning, and then practicing. And then, you know, add cooking into that. 
Yeah, I have a pr- I have pretty full cool days, I think. So they're like asking, what do you do on your free time? When you're not working. Maybe traveling somewhere or just, I don't know, visiting fam- with family. But really, I yeah, just got like a pretty steady routine of what I like to do and just exercising and music. And, I don't know. Yeah, like honestly, my free time is making music, to be honest. Like, cause, yeah, like, even though it's kind of work, like it's what I would do, it's what I would be doing either way. Who is the best chef in the band? Oh, man. I mean, we all, all get down. We all get down, but pro- honestly, I would have to give it to Nate. Nate is really good culinary, but it just depends, I guess, with what you're cooking because we all have our strengths. But the Wim Hof breathing techniques. I don't know what that is. Wim Hof is like the, I think like the really fast or maybe that's Kundalini. I think he's the guy that like survives in um, like, super cold waters, like in the ice, for a long time. Let's see. Would like to see you go live on Twitch more. Yeah, I've been meaning to do that. I don't know. Twitch and mixing. I don't want to show them the new stuff like now. Like it was, it was when I was twitching. It was like the very early stages of the song. So I didn't really care, but now that it's almost finished, I want to, maybe I'll do like a build a song stream and we can just start from scratch. That'd be, I mean, maybe, you know, we'll see. When were you able to quit your day job and dedicate all time to music? I don't know, like we've been touring like crazy, like the last four years. Like basically yeah. almost nonstop for the last four years. So I guess it's like it just kind of happens from touring more and more. It's not really like yeah, eventually quitting, quitting a day job because it still is like we're out there doing yeah the job, but it's like yeah, what we all do. So my mom is trying to get. Who are the reggae artists that inspired you growing up? Bob. Marley. Um, yeah, Bob, for sure. I mean, I mean, Sublime, Sublime though, to be honest, the, like, the one that got me into, like, wanting to be in the band was Sublime. That was probably the first one for me, too. I had, like, when I first got, was able to drive when I was 16, Sublime was, like, stuck. And then locally, like, Fortunate Youth and Expanders and Simkin Project, Tribal Seeds were, like, all bands. Like, locally, we saw, like, when we were getting into reggae music and, yeah, just kind of went deeper and deeper into the roots. Always looking for new music. And I'm still finding new reggae music. Yeah, like, hold always. on. Oh, my God. I'm going to show you guys this. Always. And you're and like, how have I never heard of this group? Hold the phone. Because, okay, so Sublime got me into reggae music. But then... You start digging in, it's like, all right, so who inspired, <laughs> yes. who inspired Sublime? And then you start finding these artists that are just so low in the cut that how did you go your whole life without knowing who these were? What is it called? Oh, this song is called Lover's Tune, and the artist is called Capenna, and the rhythm was produced by DM Khan. Like, this is something I just found, and I'm, I feel like, where have I been, you know, when you, when you hear something that you're just like, what, so, the digger that you go into this reggae hole, like, you're just gonna be surrounded by the best of frequencies. Would you ever cover Riders on the Star? That'd be interesting. No, it's uh, the doors. Ever get into Incubus back in the day? I like Incubus. Yeah, I like Incubus. I'm down for Incubus. He's cool. Or they're cool. Do you have any plans to make a full live album like Revolution at Red Rocks? That'd be amazing. That'd be cool. I mean, we have some recorded stuff that we got from our last tour, but I think we might do something more official. Yeah, we definitely want like want to do it, but we want to do it right and make it really cool. Make it a unique experience. So 
sa sarili ko nila. So yeah, I've been learning a lot of my producing stuff from like listening to this. The guy that produced this, he puts up like some of the best tutorials on production on YouTube, so go check him out as well. Are you guys Grateful Dead fans? If so, what are your favorite songs and albums? My favorite album? Oh, probably the Oxo Moxa. Like, I really like them from like 1970 to 1974, maybe. But yeah, they have so much music. It's all such a it's it's a vibe if you're feeling it and you're in that state of mind. They're really cool. All right, someone's asking for the link to this song, so I'm gonna set, throw it in there. There you go. Big ups. You know, because I mean, these are the artists and bands that inspire me. So it'll inspire someone else out there. What about a song with Kareem Israel? Oh, we have one already, but I mean, I'm down for another one. <laughs> yeah, Kareem was on What's Up with him. How often do you guys all rehearse together? Well, pretty much like once a week until the quarantine. Basically, yeah, well, like pretty weekly. Yo, so if anyone's out there and knows who Elon Musk is and they just have, like, contact to him, we've been trying to get him to listen to Outer Space. So just throwing that out there. If anyone's an actual friend of Elon, just tell him your boys, I, Tara, got this dope song, Outer Space. I think you might like it. <laughs> yeah. Can you share your greatest tour bus prank or story? Oh man. Dang. I mean we is this a PG show or a PG thirteen? I don't know what stories I can tell. I think you could tell them the gas monkey story, maybe. No, no, no not, not the gas story. monkey story. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh god. Um, but on another question though, yes, we have heard of sticky fingers. We love them too. So if any of you guys are friends of Sticky Fingers and they want to tour with us, just, you know, send them a message, send them a shout, let them, hear, let them know your boys are down. <laughs> <laughs> are you still going to jam at Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I'm sure they'll have it. Everyone write a cast one. <laughs> we can't tell that story. There's like a few good stories, but there's one. What's another one? <laughs> I mean, I almost drowned once. I don't, I don't, that's a story that I like to tell. Yeah. I guess, kind of. Yeah. Elon Musk is the new Nikola Tesla. So pumped to see how he's going to change the world as we know it. That is, if the government doesn't suppress the things he comes up with. Man, Elon Musk is going to, yeah, he's like Tony Stark. Like, yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, just watch out. Um, so yeah, one time I almost drowned. I jumped off this bridge at Mount Shasta into a river because everyone else was jumping into the river. So I was like, hey, I can do this. And I jumped in with my shoes in my hand. And when I hit the water, it was like a 40 foot drop. Lost my shoes in the water. And then I was like, oh God, I gotta get my shoes. So now I'm swimming, and it's like a 50-yard swim back to, like, the little river shore thing. And I, like, basically gave up on finding my shoes in the water, so I started swimming back. I see that I still had, like, 20 yards to swim, and my arms had just given out, and I couldn't swim anymore. And this dude that was, like, just canoeing, he was a wook. The name was Potato. He was just like, yo, man, I got you. Oh, yeah, Potato. And he yeah, just, like, comes over with a canoe and saves me and Dread Kennedy. Oh, man. Sea Merchant. We almost drowned. That, we were in Hawaii, right? We were in Hawaii. Oh, the Sea Merchant we were, story? We were playing a few shows out in Hawaii, and I, I don't remember where I was. I think I was maybe where we were staying, and I got a call from Dave, and he's like... Or no, it wasn't Dave. It was somebody else. But Dave got stung by a sea urchin. And 
he was eventually all right, but he was pretty swollen there for a little bit. But we got you, Dave. I would do anything for you. <laughs> so that was a good. That was a good. What about collab with Natalie Rives? If the time is right, you know it'll happen. Let's see. Who is the shyest member of the band? Ha uh ha. -huh. I don't know. How do you love people shyness? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're all shy here, aren't we? We're all out I mean, it depends how many white claws I've had, really. I'm just kidding. Did you guys ever <laughs> figure out who stole the pizza? Who did steal the pizza? We have our suspicions. We have our suspicions. We just won't drop any names. Yeah, we're not going to. Yeah. Got to collab with Damian Marley. That's a dream. That. Ever heard of the late ones? For surely. Yeah, the late ones are awesome. Super good guys. Great musicians. Any plans for playing closer to the sun or something along those lines? Hopefully, man. Or, oh, that's a that's lady. I'm sorry, miss. Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen the shows get back and going. So, you know, it's not for the best. I and Tara's songs generally written together or separately? You want to take that one? Kind of both. I mean, there's like a good, good mix of both, I think. Like sometimes at rehearsal we'll come up and somebody brings an idea and then it just develops or there's a lot of times too when somebody will just bring a song to everybody. Yeah. Sometimes it could be a rhythm or a groove or a lyric, a little melody. Yeah, we all put in our two cents prior to us. Just an idea or like a concept. Yeah. Dude, what if there's a mandatory vaccine in order to do shows or get tickets? Man, now you're going into deep state, bro. Deep state. Oh, that's a question for Alex Jones. I don't want to go into the deep state. I don't know, man. How do you guys feel about vaccines? I want to hear this. Yeah, like, what's the general population feel about vaccines? Like, would you guys say, yeah, give it to me? Or would you be, like, weary about it? I'm asking for myself here now, personally, because I don't know what I would do personally. Yeah. RFID. What is RFID that? chips. What does that mean? Like they some people believe in their chipping vaccines. I don't really think that the government needs to chip people because they can just track us with their our phones. <laughs> yeah, we're already being tracked. <laughs> like, that's not so much. It's kind of fun. But yeah. I don't know, man. But I don't agree with vaccines. But yeah, it's a crazy time. Would people that. like? I want to know too. Would people like still like to go to concerts if there had to be a social distancing thing? Like, would that be enjoyable for people? I've been wondering. That. Yeah, can you guys type that as much as you guys want to go to the show? Like, does that still be fun? Like, would that be? Would or would you guys be a little worrisome? What would you know? I mean, it's all relative because right now, I guess people would say, yeah, but it's like at what point in time? Yeah. I'm not saying we're going to play a show right now. Just <laughs> Open the pit. Open the pit. Open the pit. I need you to perform here in my town, Red Rocks. That'd be cool. Human nature would cause everyone to get close and feel the vibe. Respect. I'll put on 10 masks. Bring up Melanie. Bring up Melanie. In my opinion of it is that if it is that contagious or whatever, at some point, we will all get it. Only way to build immunity is to be exposed. So best believe I'm going to be at the first show open. Just no vaccine. 
All right. Thank you for sharing that. I would go to a show tomorrow. I think it would be hard to enforce social distancing at a concert. <laughs> How was it touring with Iration? They were, they were super. They're super one of the best nice. bands to go on tour with. I had such a great time. Such a good time. Really nice and polite. And just super professional. Yeah. We're LA based and desperately in need of a basis. Should just put out a demo. Man, I would put out put out a Craigslist ad and ask the universe. Just you know, ask the universe. Say, universe, please bring us blank whatever you want. Bass player. Say, ask with ease and grace three times. Say with ease and grace, with ease and grace, with ease and grace. And I think you'll find a, a bass player. Big up Craigslist. Yeah, man. Like, I met Nathan through MySpace. Like, if we want to go that far back. Do you know this top eight? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Did anyone in the band get sick after New Year's? I know a lot of... I haven't been sick. We got off tour and I was perfectly fine, I think. We may have gotten a flu or something. I, I don't really remember. I think it's almost inevitable that at some point in every tour, you like feel a little sick or like you don't maybe get sick, but you might feel like you are a little bit like you know you got it and you kind of like pass by. It's like inevitable. We go around the whole country. So it's something you got to like always be on your game, like eat well and go to sleep, get your sleep and exercise, you know, take care of yourself. Yeah, but as far as like something that was like life threatening, I don't believe any of us. Favorite tattoo artist? Um, I'll shout out my tattoo artist. His name's Bradley Pauly from Vegas. Last Chance Tattoo Shop. Um, Nathan's tattoo artist is uh, Chris Astro Logo. I forget what shop he works at, but his name is Chris Astro Logo. I mean, if you guys follow Nathan's Instagram page, I'm sure you guys will see his work on there. Um, what's your William name? Newlittle. William is uh oh yeah he's back in LA now. Yeah he's super dope. Really good with dot work and all that kind of sacred geometry stuff. Mm -hmm. Hi Isaiah. <laughs> Favorite tattoo or future tattoo? I'm gonna get a 2020 tattoo. <laughs> That's something I've been meaning to get. I'm going to get a 2020 tattoo because... Yeah, just the Roman numerals. Yeah. That'd yeah. be sick. Let's get them small somewhere. Like, yeah. We made it. <laughs> How are you? I'm well. We are very, very well. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign, Elise? Um... I'm a Taurus. Is that what that is? I'm a Taurus? Is that my yeah, yeah. yeah, those are zodiacs. I'm an Aquarius. Yeah, I'm a Taurus. Check out Rod Ferrara on Insta. Super sick tattoo artist. Ricky Hernandez. Book recommendations. Oh man, I'll show you the one I'm reading right now. The Tibetan Book of the Dead. It's a thick one. I got like this much left to go. Last one I read, I really liked Be Here Now by a cartel. Like all of that cartel's books are really good. Um, right now I'm reading one called The Artist's Way. It's really, really different and good. I've heard his name a lot. I've never read any of his. That part? Yeah. It's super good. Did you guys think Meow Wolf in New Mexico? That was a really cool venue. Any Netflix recommendations? Man, the first one off the top of my head, I'll say The Platform. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Isaiah, you can't watch that movie, though. <laughs> Be careful with that one. But it is, it conceptually makes you think oh, about like, man. what we're doing and like the, the energy you put out there and how it comes back to you, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Didn't you guys also tour with Fortune and Youth all the way back? Yup. That was our first. That was our first national. Our tour. first big boy tour. Yeah, that was a long, like the longest one too. It was like nine or ten weeks. It was. It was, it was so good. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions, um, I'll just take another moment to say thank you guys to everyone that donated to the stream, it is supporting by listening to the music, supporting all the bands, Roof Fire for putting this on. It's been past an hour now, so this is, I mean, I've been having fun with it. Really? It's an hour and five minutes now. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, it's fun by. So, again, thank you guys. Um, uh, let's see here. Might be calling it here soon, but um, yeah. Unless you guys have any like last minute questions, I'll just say uh, just plug the support our crew T-shirt again on iatera.com. Proceeds are going to our guys' stage, uh, tech, merch, um, and yeah. Keep listening to the music. Stay tuned for lots of good stuff. We're all working on some cool stuff. So anything you want to close with? Yeah, big ups, you guys. Thanks for the support and stay happy and healthy. Enjoy the time with your loved ones. Yeah, keep your spirits up. Find something that genuinely makes you happy right now because, yeah, I think that's what will carry us through, you know? Find something that we thoroughly enjoy doing. So. All right, with that, I'll say peace. Yeah, Love you guys. guys. Thank Thanks. you.